Hello everybody, remember the UD and welcome back to Pooh, look at the camera. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound! In the previous video, we returned to Forsyth to go to a concert and go into the museum. And in today's video, we'll be going inside our fifth sanctuary. Oh yeah! And I'm trying to remain optimistic because uh, this place isn't that exciting. Um, but what is exciting is that we're going to be facing a new enemy. This is the Filthy Attack Roach. 399 HP, 0 power points, 84 offense, 33 defense, 77 speed, 9 guts, 10,543 experience. We defeat them. 432 dollars. We defeat them. Has an 8 and 120 chance of dropping a secret herb. Weaknesses: 100% vulnerable fire, 100% vulnerable freeze, 50% flash, 98% paralysis, 98% brain zack, 0% hypnosis. Attacks, bounce low level damage, continuous attack, deals multiple hits, leaps forward and spreads its wings, solidifies a party member, and knits its brows, no effect. Um, alright, so this place, um, I have a bit of a confession to make. This is my least favorite sanctuary in Earthbound, in the entire game, because for a couple of reasons. Um, one, the difficulty in this area, it's not that difficult, but it really depends, this can be one of those areas where it can either be really uh, easy or it can be really difficult. Um, because there are a couple strong enemies in, the, in this area, so it just really depends on how often enemies appear. Um, there is a way to get through here this area, entire area without really having to deal with a lot of care with a lot, with a lot of enemies, because um, the water area that we'll be swimming in a moment, um, enemies don't really spawn there all the time. Like they can appear, um, but. Um, uh, a pretty decent strategy if you want to just avoid battles is to just go into the water and swim to the final boss and swim to the boss of this area um, because uh, the river in this area. Ooh, okay. Um, we realized a new PSI ability, PSI Brain Sock. Okay. Um, uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, I want to heal my characters real quick um, because uh, PSI. Brain Sock is a pretty inter interesting move. I'm not going to be using it that often throughout the dust play, if I'm going to be totally honest with, it, with you people. Um, but the thing about this is that now that we have this ability, all those weaknesses that I mentioned when I go over the enemy stats, like Fire, Freeze, Flash, Paralysis, Brain Sock, Hypnosis, now we have the um, access to all of those. Um, PSI Brain Sock will, when you use this ability, it will make the enemy feel strange. Um, so if you want to know more about that, you can just look in the description below where I'm going to have all the information about all that stuff because I don't feel like looking for my notes right now because I'm trying to play a game for you people, so you better appreciate it! Ooh, broken iron. Okay, that's good, exciting. So what I was saying a moment ago was that the river... Ah, you get away from me, you jerk! You get away from me, you jerk! Okay, I didn't intend to do this right now, but I guess we can go over the stats for the Stinky Ghost. Um, uh, yeah, Stinky Ghost. It's very stinky. 444 HP, 0 power points, 90 offense, 178 defense, 18 speed, 4 guts, at 13,179 experience to defeat them, has a, um, will drop of $541 and defeat them, has a tune of 120 chance of dropping a large pizza, weakness is 100% vulnerable fire, 50% vulnerable to freeze, 98% flash, 99% paralysis, 0% brain attack, 99% hypnosis, attacks, bass will lower damage, turbo odor, lowers offensive def defense, frightening manner, somebody will become possessed, and has a big grin on their face, and no effect. So, yay, we have frightening more enemies, and it's exciting. We, we can probably use hypnosis on them. Why not? It, it's only six um, uh, power points, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, you're going to need some. You're going to need, like, a lot of PSI stat. PSI. To go into the boss fight in this area, so. Uh, yay. Oh, call them! Call them! You're possessed! I don't want you to be possessed! What was that noise? <laughs> what the heck was that? I am so sorry. That was a weird, weird noise. Okay. Uh, voice got aside. That's just finish these enemies. Pill, you suck at doing bass attacks. But you don't really have a lot of PSI abilities or we're gonna make these enemies vulnerable. Garg, I don't like these enemies. These enemies are jerks. They're not invited to my birthday party. That's right. You heard me, stinky ghost. You're not invited to my birthday party. Let's try using PSI Thunder on this guy. 
And you're defeated already. And you're defeated already. Okay, so we didn't even have to use Peace Eye Thunder. That's kind of exciting. Pool's level is now 25. Maximum HP is 1. Maximum power points went up by 2. And now you get to see what it's like to be possessed in this game. Um, there's some attack roaches right there. Okay, uh, let's just, go, let's just go attack them and then I'll go over the ghost in a minute. No 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 Okay we're fine we're good we're good we're it's all good It's all good Jeff's level is not 40 offense went up by two Oh baby speed went up by three vitality went up by one IQ went up by one Max HP went up by thirteen Poo's level is not twenty six Offense went up by two defense went up by one Max HP went up by two Maximum power bones went up by two Okay the ghosts um I don't think I had a chance to really, I don't think I really had a chance to explain what this thing does uh, back in 3, which is like the previous area where we had the chance to use this thing. Um, the ghost is not a nice thing, it is very, it's a huge jerk, because uh, the when you're getting possessed by the tiny little ghost, um, I love this, I love the overworld sprite, I will say that, and it doesn't really do, do anything to you in the old world. but when you're in battle, it can do some stuff like it will solidify a party member at random, and it will, um, it will like do very small damage to you, like the damage is not going to be the one you have to worry about, if you being solidified by it is something you have to worry about, so... Um, I guess we could go back to the hospital real quick to get it removed because you do because you can do that. I just don't want to do that right now because we're already fairly far into the sanctuary, so I guess we could do it after we're done in this place. Um, so yay. Except not yay, because I don't like the thing you get away from me, you, you jerk. I don't like fighting these things. This place is evil. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't think I really got a chance to really go over what, um, I don't think I've mentioned this yet in this recording session because it's like my fourth try going through this place. Um, but this is by far my least favorite sanctuary in the entire game. Because, uh, first of all, even though you can just go directly to the boss fight, um, just going by just going through the water right here, that does not protect you from fighting enemies. You can still fight enemies in the water if they spawned on it. And you move so slow when you're in the water. Like, I don't mind the game's uh, moving speed all that often. Like, it would have been nice to have a run button, like in Earthbound Beginnings, but it's not that big of a deal because we have skip sandwiches. And I suppose skip sandwiches could also be helpful in this area, but I just never really allow my way to go get them because I want to use my item slots uh, to, for other items. But what I don't like about this place are the enemies. Like, they're... Whoa! I'm so glad we're not in the water right now. <laughs> we're not in the water. <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> okay. I, I spoke too soon. Back away, back away, back away. Okay, let's have those enemies um, not load into existence. Okay, they're in the water now. Okay, that's good. You're over there. You're over there. Uh, okay, let's go into the door now. But magic butterfly, magic butterfly makes everything better. <laughs> we had a magic butterfly. I lost man points. What do you mean? <laughs> As I was trying to say, like a billion times already. Um, did we go over the stats for dead for the deadly mouse? Yeah, whatever. We'll just find one. In, we'll probably find one in a minute, though. Um, what I don't like about this area is that the enemies. Like, it's not. They're not difficult by any means. Like, we can still fight them easily. Okay, in that battle, uh, Pooh learned a new PSI ability, um, if I can get over to it real quick. Uh, Pooh learned a new PSI ability, PSI Magnet, uh, so that's exciting. As usual, you can look at the stats for that in the, in the description below, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should probably heal Ness, uh, Ness and Paula, that might be a good thing. Alright, um, but yeah, this is my least favorite sanctuary in the game because I'm not that big of a fan of the enemies in this place because um, 
all the enemies they're gonna fight here, save for the boss, they're just harder versions of enemies we've already seen. Like most of the other sanctuaries that we've uh, encountered in this game so far, they have really interesting enemies and they're and they're pretty fun to go through. This place doesn't, and I don't like this area um, because uh, the enemies in this game, the enemies in this place, like I just like I already said, um, they're just harder versions of enemies we've already seen. So it's not like so. Oh. Ness, don't get homesick right now. No, 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 come on, come on, no, 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 why can't you be more like Mickey and be epic and not deadly? Well, I guess Mickey could be deadly in that game if you use thinner a lot, but that doesn't matter because that's epic Mickey and we're playing Earthbound right now. And that's leveled up. Okay, that's good. I was one by one, gets one by one, like one by one, maximum HP one by three, maximum power points one by two, but all level is not 40. Oh baby, I was one by three, speed one by two, vitality one by one, IQ one by two, chair stop squeaking. Oh baby, luck like, one by three. Voice crack, maximum HP 1 by 3, that rocks! Maximum, maximum power points 1 by 10! Paula realized the power of, of uh, offense up Gamma. I think that's Gamma. I'm not that very really familiar with... Uh, we fought the Deadly Mouse Mice and I did not go over their stats. I am a Ninja Poop. Okay, let's uh, heal up our party first. Uh, let's see, do we have any items that can heal us? We still have the End Aid. Okay, uh, we'll save that for later. Uh, let's see uh, beef jerky on Ness. And who. Okay, uh, PSI healing. Uh, I'll just use PSI healing beta just to be sure because I'm not entirely sure if PSI al healing alpha can save you from being poisoned. But anyway, let's go over the stats for the Deadly Mouse. Um, uh, 416 HP, 0 power points, 63 offense, 98 defense, and 18 speed, 225 guts, um, 9,225 9, experience to defeat them. 406 stars to defeat them. Has a 2 in a 120 chance of dropping a Respirator DX. Weaknesses 1% available higher, 75% available to freeze, 50% so flash, 50% process, 50% brain attack, 10% hypnosis. Attacks, biting attack, low level damage, poisonous fangs can cause poison. Yay, except not yay, because deadly mice are evil. They're more evil than the mice enemies we already fought in this game. You are jerks! Game! Why do you do this to me? You remember, I've praised you endlessly throughout this Let's Play. I even praise you to people who don't, who don't even like playing you. They, uh, you know who you are if you're watching this video. But why do you do this to me? Okay, at least they're gone. I don't like this place. I'm sorry. I I will I will praise this game endlessly, except for the sanctuary. I don't like this place. It's evil. I will praise its environment though. The the way this place was designed visually, it looks awesome. But the enemies in here suck. You finally got here. This is your fifth sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. This is the Plague Rat of Doom. 1,827 HP, 60 power points, 71 offense, 180 defense, 19 speed, 250 uh, guts, so 115,272 experience to defeat them. That's a 4,464 4, 4, experience to defeat them. Can I please talk straight? We've dropped no items to defeat them. Which is this? 100 percent world of fire, 50 percent world of phrase, 50 percent flash, 10 percent process, and 50 percent brain sack, and 10 percent process. Attacks, bass, low level damage, biting attack, high level damage, poisonous fangs can cause poison, has a big grin on their face, no effect. You know what, Plague Rat of Doom? I am sick of this place. You're the only enemy in this game that I really like because you have a really awesome design. But I am sick of this of fighting this stupid, 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 stupid sanctuary. So you know what? 
what? I'm gonna go out a lot. I'm gonna use big bottle rockets. I'm gonna use uh, all the PSI builders I have. I'm going to be unnecessary epic in this place. I'm gonna even try using Furry Sock, even though you only have like a 50% accuracy with that thing. I don't care. I'm going to destroy your face. You will be destroyed and you will like it. Ah, oh, you jerk. Okay, um, it's going back to strategies because uh, it's, that's probably a good idea to talk about at the moment. Um, uh, let's, try, let's, use, let's use PSF phrase on this thing um, because it like does less um, damage and stuff like that. But anyway, or it does it does damage. Um, and it costs less power points, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, as I was trying to say a moment ago, was that uh, you want to bring as many big battle rockets as you possibly can into this place because um, big battle rockets are going to be your best friend for fighting this enemy. That's kind of the rule of thumb with this game is that uh, big battle rockets are going to be helpful because they really are helpful. Big battle rockets are awesome. Um, but, the th but you especially want to bring them into here because. Um, um, you have a chance of being possessed like Paula is right now, and you also have a chance of, um, uh, uh, because of how strong the enemies are in this area, if you took the path that I did, took in this area, then it's very possible that you may have, like, lost a party member at some point. We defeated you! We defeated you! We beat your face! You are destroyed! You are destroyed, good sir! Yes! Yeah! We defeated you! I don't think we even had to use all of our big broader rockets. All things considered, that was not a bad run of the Magnet Hill. I am really happy with the way this turned out. Let me double check that real quick. Uh, did we have to use all of our big broader rockets? No, we had one left over. That is sweet. That is awesome. Uh, we're right close. We're close to the thing. Paula will be fine. Ness opened the chest. Whoa! There's a carrot key inside! Paula takes it! Now I have to say, even though I don't like Magnet Hill, I do have to say that the foreshadowing for this area was really, was really well handled. Because we had a character over there um, mention uh, briefly saying that this might be your place. Um, so that kind of gives you a good indication to explore foresight so you, so you can try to figure out how to get into this place. Um, so all things considered, even though I, even though it is still my least favorite sanctuary in the entire game, um, Magnet, the way they forced out of this area and the boss fight of this place, I really do like, so at least there's that, um, to say about it. Now, I don't, now I probably already said this already, because, let's be honest, I can't really remember everything that I said in this, in this video, considering this is my fourth take trying to go through this place, but that's at the point right now. The bar right now is that um, you can go through the water to go straight to the boss fight, so you don't even really have to fight those enemies all that often. I guess that could be a good thing, but I strongly recommend you go through this area and just fight as many enemies as you uh, possibly can, um, because this is a great level uh, place to level grind for Pooh. Um, because like we, we, he's still like a new character with us, and uh, he's still um, catching up to everybody else when it comes to experience. Um, but one thing that I really have to say that I really like about this game, and we'll get more into this a little bit later in the Let's Play, is that um, um, you go away. Daddy Mouse, you go away. Okay, he wasn't moving for a moment, so I'll just move at the screen away. You go away, you stupid mouse. Go away. <sighs> even when I'm trying to be nice and trying to talk about something cool, the Magnet Hill even has to ruin that. Thank you, Magnet Hill. What would we ever do without you? There are more enemies on the screen. What the heck, game? You are kidding me! 
on the very last attack, we get possessed. At least we leveled up. The Magnet Hill just had to have one more opportunity to mess with me. Thank you, Magnet Hill. You're such a great- I was going the wrong way the entire time! I didn't even have to fight that thing. I could've just stayed in the water. Game! I would be louder, but it is uh, pretty late at night, and I think my neighbors are trying to sleep. So that's probably- so I probably shouldn't scream. The screaming is never the answer. You heard her first, from Lady Gear to you. But anyway, as I was trying to say a moment ago, um, something really cool about this game is that this sanctuary and the next one, I guess, to a certain degree, um, the next two sanctuaries can be beaten pretty much whenever you want. Um, you can go and fight... Um, like, I remember my first playthrough, I didn't even know they were, that this was supposed to be the fifth sanctuary they were supposed to go into. Um, what I did was that, you'll see this in, a, in like, not the next video, but the video after that one. You'll see this a couple videos from now, but, um, but I explored Summers a little bit, and I stumbled upon this one thing that took me into the next town. So, uh, so... It finally triggered! <laughs> okay, this stupid picture will kiss it. Finally triggered! The website that I used to look up my notes, both of them claimed you could get this picture at any time. Both of them claimed we can get this picture at any time. But apparently you have to be Magnet Hill first. Okay. Alright, uh, <laughs> man, I just cannot continue a conversation today. Uh, I, was trying to, I was trying to say a moment ago, on my first playthrough, I made it to the uh, seventh sanctuary in this game without even knowing how to get into the- without even knowing how to get into Magnet Hill. So, um, first of all, the seventh sanctuary was kind of a nightmare for, for me to go through. We'll go we'll talk about that more later in the game. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, but but the thing is, at that point in the game, I was kind of over leveled to, um, I was kind of over leveled to go into that area. So my first experience with Magnet Hill wasn't that terrible. Um, but I didn't change my overall opinion on Magnet Hill. But um, yeah, I didn't even know how you're supposed to go into that place until the, we got to the point in the story where you were supposed to go into the seventh sanctuary. And one more thing that I guess is worth mentioning before you end the video is that. For whatever reason, I always think that Magna Hill is supposed to be our fourth sanctuary, not the fifth one. I have no idea why. It's probably, like, because I often forget that there's one in Saturn Valley or something like that. But it's not that big of a deal. It's just me being, it's just me being a moron. <laughs> but anyway, uh, at the end of the sanctuary, we got a carrot key. And we may have seen a certain bunny statue earlier in the game. We'll talk about that in the next video, so if you want to know about that, you can tune in next week for another exciting episode of Earthbound. Except, not next week, because that's probably going to be uploaded, like, the day after tomorrow. Whenever I upload this video, I don't know. I can't see the future. I'm not Silk. I want to be Silk when I'm a grown-up. But yeah, see you next time. Bye. I don't like Magnet Hill.